everyone and welcome back. A Minneapolis restaurant is giving back to one of their regulars in a big way. So Kirsten Mitchell has more. I always get some sort of burger because they're really good. At the Howe Daily Kitchen and Bar. It's good. Exploring the menu. Wild rice soup and a burger. And placing an order. I love the cheese curds. Hasn't always been easy for customers who are blind, like Matthew. And he comes in quite often usually two, three times a week. Mary Rohr, manager of diversity, equity, and inclusion for Craft and Crew Hospitality, noticed Matthew always ordered the same thing. I want to be sure that, you know, he can try other things. He inspired Mary to work with the state services for the blind to transcribe their menus into Braille. Last week, Matthew used them for the first time. Honestly, I haven't read Braille menus in a long time. I certainly understand all of this. Yeah. There's not anybody that I know of besides like big corporate restaurants and stuff that have braille menus and so you know that day he was able to read it and order something brand new off the menu so it's pretty exciting. <laughs> that must be super awkward for someone to come in and not be able to read the menu so that's great that they can make their own choice feel empowered to just read the menu themselves and pick what they want. The business says ordering these braille menus was actually fairly easy and not a huge cost undertaking that's why they hope other restaurants will do the same. You don't need to have 20 of them on hand. You just need to have one that you can pass around if need be, but uh, it's, it's something that I think every restaurant has the capability of doing. To get more people in here that uh, have disabilities, it's great. A simple step making a big impact toward more inclusive dining experiences. The more people you can get into your doors, to make them feel welcome. That's, I mean, the best part about this industry. You know, we get a little bit of everybody, so like, let's make everybody comfortable and want to come back. In Minneapolis, Kirsten Mitchell, WCCO 4 News. Oh, wow. That is so cool. Well, kudos to that staff for realizing he orders the same thing every single time, yeah. and it might not be because that's his favorite meal on earth. Right, absolutely. <laughs> and especially servers, like, in the industry, you yep. kind of begin to know your regulars, your customers, yeah. so maybe they just kind of caught on. It's that personal feel to it. And also, restaurants have everything from, like, gluten-free, vegetarian, vegan, Mm -hmm. And then handicap accessibility, right. why not the Braille menu? Yeah. yeah, that's really cool. Makes total sense when you think about it. So kudos to them and a PSA for all other types of industries. Absolutely, yeah. And when one of the guys uh, in the in there said that um, that they were able to do that, yep. I, don't, I think most restaurants would be able to do that. Yep. I mean, can't put my words into theirs, but <laughs> here we are. So. <laughs> I just feel like, yeah, I don't know. That's my own opinion. <laughs> We'll gloss over that Trademark one. Trademark, Jillian. <laughs> yeah. No, it's great. It's great. Inclusivity for all. Coming up on today's show, a boutique meant to make women feel beautiful while also being comfortable. We know how important that is, right, ladies? We'll tell you all about it after the break.